This is Catholic Daily Reflections for Wednesday of the 23rd week in Ordinary Time. Today's reflection is entitled, The True Blessings. Blessed are you who are poor. Blessed are you who are hungry now. Blessed are you who are now weeping. Blessed are you when people hate you. Rejoice and leap for joy on that day. Are the above statements typos? Did Jesus really say these things? At first, the Beatitudes can seem quite confusing, and when we strive to live them, they can be very challenging. Why is it blessed to be poor and hungry? Why is one blessed who is weeping and hated? These are difficult questions with perfect answers. The truth is that each beatitude ends with a glorious outcome when fully embraced in accord with the will of God. Poverty, hunger, sorrow, and persecution are not by themselves blessings. But when they befall us, they do offer the opportunity for a blessing from God that far surpasses any difficulty the initial challenge presents. Poverty affords one the opportunity to seek out the riches of heaven above all else. Hunger drives a person to seek the food of God that sustains beyond what the world can offer. Weeping, when caused by one's own sin or the sins of others, helps us seek justice, repentance, truth, and mercy. And persecution on account of Christ enables us to be purified in our faith and to trust in God in a way that leaves us abundantly blessed and filled with joy. At first, the Beatitudes may not make sense to us. It's not that they are contrary to our human reason. Rather, the Beatitudes go beyond what immediately makes sense and they enable us to live on a whole new level of faith, hope, and love. They teach us that the wisdom of God is far beyond our own limited human understanding. Reflect today upon the incredible wisdom of God as He reveals these, the deepest teachings of the spiritual life. At very least, Try to reflect upon the fact that God's wisdom is far above your wisdom. If you struggle to make sense of something painful and difficult in your life, know that God has an answer if you but seek out His wisdom. Let us pray. Lord, help me to find blessings in the many challenges and hardships of life. Rather than seeing my crosses as evil, help me to see your hand at work in transforming them and to experience a greater outpouring of your grace in all things. Jesus, I trust in you.